Okay, yeah, listen, listen, my brothers. We are talking about Shatawali here, you know? This guy ain't fake guy. He came from the ground. Now he's climbing to the top. I'm a born Sirelonian. You know, right now as I'm talking to you, I'm in Abidjan. You understand? But I can't lie to you. Shatawali is the biggest. I mean the biggest. He's gonna be the biggest ever. The world gonna see Shatawali as the biggest ever. Ghanaians embrace Shatawali. Why? Someone is trying to lift himself up. Why are you trying to put him down? Tell me, is this right? We are Africans. Let us love our own. Shatawali is trying to do this for Africa. It's not only for Ghana, mind you. I'm a Australian. You are a Gambian. You are a Ivory Coastian. You are a Nigerian. Please, let's come as one. Bob Mali came from Jamaica. Where do you know Jamaica from? Jamaica is from South Africa. South America. Sorry, I can say my brothers and sisters. Come on, man. Why can't we embrace our own? Why are you killing your own king in your own country? You kill your own king, he's a king. Chatawali is a king. Respect his word. Respect his actions. Believe you me. They're gonna take Africa to the world. They're gonna see us. They're gonna know us. They're gonna know about us. He's portraying the culture. The culture of Africa must be seen out there. But Mali did it for Jamaica. Why can't you do it for Africa? Tupac did it for America. Osama Bilani did it for Afghanistan. Why can't you do this for Africa? Let's embrace Shatawali and try to be in peace. Peace and love, I say. Shout out to all Ghana, shout out to Africa, shout out to Shatawali, shout out to the whole movement of Shatawali followers. I love you all. Peace. Die hearted Shatawali. Peace and love. Shout out. <laughs>